Okay. Guess what Charlie got? <laughs> got a sailboat. I'm so happy. Um, happy, and I'm kind of realizing all the work that I've got to do. Anyway, uh, looks like it's all there pretty much. It uh, has some problem here. It's going to have to be looked at a little dressed up there. It's not bad. It's uh, see how close that trailer rides up to the trailer there. That's a uh, I'm going to need a longer tongue or something. Anyway, uh, and the way it's setting on the trailer, I don't think it's right. It, uh, see these back ones here are adjusted all the way up on the sides, but isn't it supposed to rest? I think it's supposed to rest on them bottom ones, too. And that keel, I think it can hit the, the frame there, and it's just fine is what it's supposed to do. It sure be nice to take the weight off of, of the little winch they've got to, to pull it here. I'll uh, give you the tour here. That's anyway. That's that's hurting the hull because it's putting all the stress on these points, and it's digging into the hull. You can see there. That's uh, that's not good. So on top of a, uh, I gotta adjust this trailer and get that straightened out. But uh, I'm gonna have to get the boat off of the trailer. And therein lies another little conundrum. Um, I already, uh, kind of in a hurry. It was a big day, and I broke a tail light back and in right away. Hit the set of rolls there. That's just discouraging as all get out right away. The tires on the trailer look okay. I really got to get it straightened out to where the, the 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 boat is sitting properly on the trailer. And the trailer's adjusted properly for the boat and all of this. Anyway, um, Take you around and take a look at it. It's got some some mild damage here and there that uh, I think that I can do. I've done fiberglass work and I'm not really bad at it. I'm not really good at it either, though. I haven't done a lot of it. You can see it's got a little bit of crazing here. Uh, this is a 1979, so it's been around a while. Got a cute little anchor on it. I just love that. That's as cute as it can be. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's the look around here, and the trailer's real nice. It's got an extension there for launching it, and uh, you know you don't you don't got to do nothing fancy to get it in the water. That's that's one way I could do it if I thought if I was sure it was going to float. I could take it out there and put it in the water and work on the trailer, but. Uh, I don't know if it would float. I need to check it out and uh, figure all this out. Which, now we'll go up above and uh, let you see. Anyway, here's one more look underneath there. That's a big heavy keel hanging on there. Anyway, real discouraging those spots. Hopefully it hasn't softened it up too much, and if it has, I'll just fix it. Okay. And uh, my, my intention with this is to get a nice little electric outboard. They may have already had one. I don't know what's going on with this. This looks uh, electric outboardish. Anyway, uh, it looks like an electric connection there on this here. Anyway, that's my intent is to have an electrical motor electric motor uh you know at least a four horsepower they're pretty they're pretty reasonable just you know anyway you can get a six horsepower there and that's i don't know might push along pretty good anyway okay. here's up there oh i feel like captain q and randy <laughs> Okay. Uh. 
So, it wasn't probably an electric motor, it has a fuel tank. So, there's that. Oops. Oh. Uh. Here's a nice big locker, and uh, this is about where the trailer's pushing up on it, I think. So at least I'll be able to get to stuff when it comes time to do something. Oh, doesn't have a lot of instruments. It's just got a a level lev, level gauge. And uh, some nice cute little winches. They need some work. They're not ratcheting. There's, uh, I haven't found the, the handle yet. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Anyway. Got a nice little... Uh, Captain Q, help me out here. Okay, anyway, I'll flash that on the screen there to pop the open thing for air to get in thingy. Vent. Okay. So anyway, well, it's been open to the weather for quite a while. And, uh, I know it was sitting out there at the auction for quite a while. There's the companionway. And here we go, it's a pop top. This here pops up. And it has this wonderful uh, Dodger, uh, uh, pop top Dodger zipping thingy. And there's the tiller, rudder, and boom. It's got a sail on it, the main sail, and a uh, sail cover and uh we've got some other stuff going here there's a sail cover here this dodger cover is quite extensive i'm not sure it seems that must be really something when it's all put up i'm, I'm guessing and uh of course there's a little little table back there the cushions look like they're fine they just need a little cleaning and a little a little cleaning is going to go a long ways on this little boat. It's a it's a cutie little boat. I'll tell you what. Now check this out here. Now, uh, what I understand is there's a little uh, porta potty or there's a place for it anyway up there in the V berth, and uh, of course there's this little table that's going to be in here, about in here, for a little, and then there's a little quarter berth here. I haven't laid in it. But it looks like it's plenty long. And then over here is the big deal here. There's a place for the stove. This is a galley here. And there's a... I'm not all sure what all back there, but there's a sink. And a faucet. Uh, probably a tank or something, too. Anyway, the galley is kind of an apparatus that slides out. And, uh... Oh, now look at how cool there is there now. There's all the electrical panel, got a little light there, nice, and a horn button. I've seen the horn out there. Got some lights there, 12 volt without a doubt, and I saw 12 volt out right here. So anyway, this will be a lot of fun. We got it really, I've only bid once, and then uh, that was it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Anyway, uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful little boat, and me and me and Elijah will be able to go out to the reservoir, and it'll be just perfect for out there. It uh, it'll go way back with that with that pull up uh, keel. I'm not sure what they call any of this stuff. There's so much stuff here. There's the other sail there. Uh, the, Four sail, or what do they call the front sail? The oh boy, that's terrible. I lost all my sailor language right away. Uh, anyway, it's that front sail it goes off the forestay, and uh, 
here's another zip in deal for something it looks like it may have a a bimini perhaps uh, and some more sails uh, perhaps covers maybe a cover for the whole boat I'm not sure there's the tiller there which it's got a nice cover on the tiller so this is probably nice stuff to cover the at least the woodwork you know uh, outside maybe or something anyway and uh, I just can't wait uh, that porta potty thing may be formed into it I'm not sure I can kind of see back there now a little bit it's, uh, Looks like somebody cut another inside. Oh, this is kind of a nice deal here. It has a nice snap up cover here, and I unsnapped it and was able to get see the winch here and feel the weight on it. And I realized that that's when I started looking at the trailer there more and realized that I keel that this, this thing is uh, way up high on this trailer, it's not adjusted right at all. And there's batteries in here. I don't know if they've got a charge or not, I doubt it. But I, uh, I gotta check that. And just, in it, it's just the cutest little sailboat. Can you imagine how much fun we're gonna have when we go out there and go fishing in it and uh, cruising around, you know, weighing the anchor and ahoy and all that. Okay. So anyway, I'm celebrating and enjoying my, my day. Just me and Grandma got home from church and uh, Took Tom out just for a little bit, not much. And I'm worried about John, but I, he's not answering the phone or the door, and I'm not sure anyway. That's what's going on right now. Yeah. I got a sail or two on top of it. Really a pretty cool little sailboat. It has standing room with the pop top, apparently six foot one or six, just enough that I should be able to stand up comfortably in it. And uh, with that zip in deal all the way around it, won't that be nifty? And uh, of course I've got room for more batteries. And if I put that electric uh, outboard on it, should keep us out of trouble as long as it's a big enough one and got enough power to, to get us out of, a bad, out of a bad spots. So anyway, I guess that's enough of this here. There's that front Benny thingy. And there's no, uh, you know, open portholes or nothing like that, but it is a 21-foot boat. <laughs> it's just a little bitty small boat. But it, it's a little big boat, you know. It's, it's, it's nice. It's got storage areas and stuff, and you can cook on it and stuff, and go to the bathroom. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, it's not the back. It's the head. And these are boat kids. That's right. It looks like the side, inside material, is glued onto the outside, you know, the hull. It, uh, it's kind of dropped down a little bit there and come undone. My plan is to clean it first and then figure out what to do. That part looks like it should be fine to just, as long as there's nothing to do and else to do there, just to re-glue that stuff back up there probably would be okay. And, uh, I love how all the bolts were all the through fittings and everything. You can see them and check them down here, it's real easy. You can see them there, they're bolted in the side of the plates. <clears throat> and this is all pretty easy to get to here. I guess you can call this the engine room a little bit like it's a... Anyway, there's the galley and there's the quarter berth and the V berth. Got a little compression post here and a bulkhead. A settee that I'm sitting on here. Settee. And um, I guess that porta potty probably sits in there. 
Oh, and that wood probably fits in there. On the top of that to make that, that V berth is uh, pretty big, it looks like, actually. Kind of huge, actually. You know, a little boat like that. And apparently that's where the little, uh, I don't have it, but that little toilet go, you know, a little uh, porta potty. Okay. Anyway, I'm excited. I'll give you another quick, quick browse around here. Oh, and you're probably wondering what I paid for it. Well, I've only bid once, and uh, it, I tried to get it at 600, and they, whoever bid before me got that, and uh, I raised it 50, and uh, that was it. So there you go. And that's a good price for this, for this boat, it really is. This is a little treasure, it really is for me. It's just what I need, you know. It's not so big that I can't just put it out and go out there and spend a day or two at the reservoir. I don't need nobody to help me set up the mast, I don't think. I think I can even do it myself. I was kind of looking at it. Uh, the first thing is, is to clean it out here, get a look at everything, find out if all the hardware that I need to get the mast standing. And, uh, I've got to get it up off of this trailer a little bit or get this trailer adjusted and get that down. And uh, hopefully the hull isn't hurt too bad. And I can't, uh, you know, reform it or whatever i got to do and, and reinforce it. It looks like it's going to be a wonderful project. Uh, and, uh, apparently you can put a deck in here. There's a little shelf all the way around, it looks like to me, and we could have a little, anyway. I'm not sure what all this thing's gonna be like, chitty chitty bang bang. It's gonna have all kinds of surprises. <laughs> okay, I guess that's enough. We'll give you an update later when we get something else done. When it comes time to die, I'll fly to the mansions on a cloud in the sky. There's a life beyond. All right. Well, there's the little galley. Isn't that just cute? I gather that's uh, probably the water tank there. There's a uh, pump. <clears throat> this and uh, the train now this is a little tricky here I uh not sure where that'll go uh, there's a way to the bilge here uh, here anyway so there's the little galley there's a little dining table um chart plotting table <laughs> Uh, now, in order to do this, I had to take the cushion that was over there. Before that would slide out, I had to move it over here. And uh, I guess I'm not sure what the story is on all that. And, uh, I guess that's the way it's supposed to work. But uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. It's all, looks like it's all here and it's just a, it's a little doll. Just a little doll. I just can imagine with the pot tub up and the, and the dodger zipped in. And apparently it has other stuff there. There's a lot of other stuff there. There may be a, they're either covers or, I'm not sure the snaps run all the way down the sides of the companionway. So there's probably some kind of a companionway cover too. But that's probably all included in that Dodger. That Dodger seems huge. And uh, those other covers, I'm just not sure. Anyway, and uh, I don't see, all I see is two sails, pretty much. But I haven't really dug around, you know, a whole lot. I, I It's going to require, I'm going to lighten ship. I'm going to take everything out. And I'm going to get that trailer straightened out. And, uh. Then I'm going to look at the hull, which everything will have to be out for that anyway. And it looks like I've got plenty of ways to access the hull. Let's see there. Let's see there. 
page. Somebody has already worked on it. That's fiberglass. Yes. This is not in, they didn't realize that their trailer was what was doing it to them. And they just put more fiberglass on it. Okay, well, there's that. So, we're just discovering all kinds of nifty stuff. That table has a trick too. It, uh, it gives you the idea that it would fold up or something, but uh, no, I guess it don't. You know, the leg folds up and it comes off of there and just gets out of the way, I guess. Uh, kind of like this galley. In order to have a galley, you gotta take the bed down, and in order to take the bed down, you gotta have the other bed cleared off to put it on there. Ship shape, and squared away. Mm hmm That's right, yep. Ain't funny. Okay. So here's a through hole fitting down there. Uh huh. Uh, a couple through hole fittings if you consider the cable too. Anyway, so there's that. We're just finding out all kinds of nifty stuff, okay? There's update number one.